Hey guys, welcome back to The Upper Hand. So today will be our last video in our taping series and today we're going to be talking about how to tape to facilitate wrist extension. Yeah, and so we're going to show you a few specific examples and diagnoses in the pediatric population and how you could use this tape to facilitate wrist extension, specifically maybe something like a brachial plexus injury. So stay tuned for that and let's get started. Yeah, so my wife's a pediatric OT and she talks all the time about having to tape to facilitate wrist extension in babies who have suffered a brachial plexus injury, more, more specifically something like Herb's palsy. Um, so for the pediatric population, you can usually get away, or especially babies, you can get away with using just one strip here. And I'll show you the different ways you can cut that in just a second. For an adult size hand and just for uh, the purposes of this video, I'm going to have to do it on two separate ones, so just know that when you're taping for a baby versus an adult. Okay, so how to cut to apply this tape. So we're going to take a, ta a piece of tape, two inch tape about this size. We're going to fold one end of it about like this and we're going to cut small triangles in the edge of the tape. So like I said earlier, if this was for a uh, someone in the pediatric population, you could do all four triangles here across the two inch tape and that one strip of two inch tape could um, could be all you need to tape that baby's uh, hand and wrist into uh, wrist extension. Again for Dylan, his hand's obviously a little bigger than that so we're going to cut um, two on this one and then two on another piece of tape. So we'll go ahead and cut our triangles. And after we get our triangles cut, we're going to thread his fingers through these holes once we open the tape up. Okay, so it'll look something like that. And of course, when you open it, you've got somewhat of a diamond shape. Okay, so when you're taping, you want to go ahead and tear right at the triangles or the diamonds, but don't pull that tape away just yet, okay? So we'll go ahead and thread their fingers through. The smaller side is going to go towards the palm side of the hand. And you'll thread that all the way down um, into the palm, just like so. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and take the palm side, pull all of that tape back, and then we're going to anchor it into the palm. Remember to rub that. Uh, really well, so you can activate that adhesive. Just like so. Okay, so I've went ahead and prepped the other piece of tape as well, so we can go ahead and thread that, um, so we can pull both of these at the same time. So let's go ahead and take his ring and small finger, thread that through. Going to take backing off of that tape and again anchor it to the palm of the hand on the anterior surface rub that in really well all right so now you've got your two strips on the back and this will be um, the main thing doing the work to facilitate that wrist extension so go ahead and pull all of the back of that tape off except the last inch or so so that you can have a handle to pull with uh, if you pull their wrist into slight extension, it is going to hold them up slightly better than if it were in neutral. And then you'll go down the line and rub that in. Again, make sure um, you rub it in well. So again, just kind of support that wrist as you're doing this, um, just so they don't go back into that neutral position before you get your other piece of tape laid down. So again, holding them in slight extension, pull the back of that tape off, leave an inch or so as a handle, pull that, go ahead and put that on the skin. The last inch or so of that should not have any stretch on it. And then you'll kind of take that and push it down onto the skin. Really important to rub that in really well. And there you have it. So they still have full capability of making a fist, 
Um, they can still flex that wrist, but it's going to be a lot harder to do so with that tape pulled um, pretty tight on the back side or the dorsal side of that forearm. There's your final product. All right, so we talked about this uh, being used a lot by pediatric therapists with their brachial plexus babies. Um, and obviously this is not a permanent um, solution. This is certainly just a temporary solution until maybe their splint that has been ordered comes in or until maybe some type of surgery is performed. Yeah, you could also generalize this taping method maybe to the adult population. Um, maybe thinking of a post-CVA patient who has some spasticity, you could attempt to tape this to facilitate wrist extension to come out of that flexor pattern. Um, or maybe you have a patient who has had a radial nerve injury. Uh, as Parker said, this is, wouldn't be a, a permanent fix for that. But if you have someone with a radial nerve injury and they have a splint ordered and on the way and you're awaiting that, you can maybe tape them into this functional position and it will facilitate um, functional use of the hand and wrist until that splint could come in. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. We hope you learned something today and that this was helpful to you in some way. So you know our goal for this channel, the upper hand, is to give you guys the upper hand as you seek to better understand conditions of the upper extremity and just all topics related to occupational therapy in general. So please take a second out of your day, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can be sure that you're going to see all of our upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time.